Hello, this is Drek, and welcome to a rant with Drek. Uh, so what is this? Well, I'm not usually ranting about anything or being, well, objective to saying games and, and I, I know there's a lot of visionaries out there, um, and a lot of people want to do call of games and not always f succeeding but failing a lot. Uh, and what we're seeing here is a game called Star Citizen. Mm, or a hanger in a game that should be Star Citizen at some point. So this episode is about something called crowd crowdfunding early access uh, crap and why am i saying crap because isn't it a good thing well it is and it isn't uh, today it seems that everybody is doing crowdfunding or uh, going early access well get early access and see a cool game and yeah this is working for some and not working for everybody um, and here we have a game, or, well, a hanger in a universe that had a pretty cool idea. I love the idea. Um, it is a fun thing. And why am I sneaking? There we go. Uh, crowdfunding is it's good for, for people not being able to pull in money for the game and want to make the game or have a nice idea. This game actually made 40 million. 40 million. That's an insane amount of money for nothing. Can I access this door? No. Yeah, I have the, what you call it, the cheapskate hanger. This is the small hanger, blah blah, cheapskate. I'm not wanted to pay a lot because you never know what to expect. And, well, this fish tank, which can, I don't know what, but this fish tank was added at 25 million. So, give us 25 million and we'll add a fish tank. Seriously? A f freaking fish tank? Uh, this is what I mean. It's, it's a 40 million dollar project game that there's nothing to it. I mean, yeah, sure, here's a really cool thingy that can shoot stuff. But why? Why would I shoot stuff in a hangar? <laughs> uh, I want to fly a ship, I want to explore planets, I want to trade, I, I'm not really a p space pilot type thing that wants to kill stuff. I'm more like a flying around, exploring, trading and the idea of this game sold me totally uh, to what it could be, but still, it's like 40 million and nothing has been shown for it. Well, a hangar. Uh, they promised what was it? Uh, a dog fighting thing. Um, haven't seen it yet. I think it was about December. It should be out and nothing. But we got a big sleigh dog thingy magic that you can put a weapon on and you can fire it. Um, but that isn't really what we're doing with it. You can fly the ship, You can it just sits there, you can sit it in and you can pull the controls. Yay. But crowdfunding, it, it makes possibility for games like this to exist. The idea is great, but the how you do it is not. Because why would I sit here? Why, why, why won't they just give us something to play? We're paying for it. We're showing we're giving a lot of people are giving a lot of money for this game, and we it, we can't even fly it. We can we can go to the ship, and if I can hit the right, there we go. I can use it. If it if it wants to, right now it doesn't seem. There we go. And animations and stuff is pretty cool. You you're you're really there. It's 
you get the experience that this is my hands and I'm climbing on board a ship and the blurb is making me sick but hopefully that will be t alternable and you can go in here and you can sit down and all well and cool but that's it open sesame nope not going to open no but I can ooh, pull the controls ooh, and look around and <laughs> sure it's cool and all but still it's it's missing something for 40 million and he is taking his time making this game and it I'm, I'm fine with with stuff like this and making it right but still it's like we have a lot of given a lot of money and people have given a lot of money and there's nothing to show for it but why I'm saying this is because and why I'm showing you the Space Citizen is because it's a really cool project that can be awesome it can actually be really cool um, and then I want to talk a little bit about early access because that's something completely different here you you're crowdfunding but in in early access you people put their games up on Steam some for a lot of money and not really worth it um, and and why I'm saying not really worth it is because there's games that are really good on early access and there's a game that is really really lacking and should be fixed uh, and, and, and why I'm saying this is because a buddy of mine uh, told me that he has written to some of the devs on a game that is on Steam right now and they told him something that I find a bit bad uh, or <laughs> really bad seriously bad um, but to start the story is there was a game or a mod for a game for a game called Arma 2 um, and pretty much everybody knows what I'm talking about of the mod and that's called DayZ the idea for the mod was awesome. I am not really a zombie person guy. I don't really like zombies. I don't really care about zombie games anymore because everybody is doing them today because it's so popular. But the idea of a survival game where you had to survive a zombie apocalypse really, really appealed to me in some ways, even though The Walking Dead isn't really my thing. Um, but it, it just feels like nowadays the game is all about killing newbies, killing new people, making new people exchange the old people that was shooting new people to do the same thing. And, and that's what DayZ is about. It's a multiplayer PvP shoot each other game. And it's too bad. It's it's really bad. But, but I'm not just saying DayZ because Everybody loves DayZ standalone, DayZ and DayZ modding and armor free DayZ mods and you know it's awesome. It's an awesome thing. Uh, it's an awesome idea, but it's failing. DayZ standalone is a complete fail. Even though they're showing numbers that it their people is paying a lot of money for and helping them and they are getting a lot of money and in, into the funding of the game and that's awesome it's not that is not but as Dean Hall said he says he's a grenade I would rather say he's a nuclear bomb because he took something that is already existed in a mod and completely blew it away on a standalone that is pretty much the same as the mod only worth even mods for armor 3 is better than standalone and you can say what you want to about it because I know a lot of people love DayZ and will hate me for saying that it's bad because it's not in their opinion but when a dev tells a community person or someone in the community that they're not 
interested in fixing their game until beta, which is supposedly is a year from now, or about a year. That is bad. Why? Why wouldn't you... Why are you... I mean, seriously, take space engineers that I just did, did a video on. These people are in early access. There was nothing to the game other than a creative mode. You couldn't really do anything other than build awesome builds if you had the creativity to do it. But what happened? Well, suddenly, poof, multiplayer mode, poof, survival mode. And this is in a very small amount of time, and the game is easy, is, <laughs> is 13.99 euros. Not sure what a, a other um, currency it is, but it's 13.99 euros. They see standalone is 23.99 euros. And it just seems like for a game that is almost <laughs> twice the money, it's, it's still broken. It's a broken game. Whereas St Space Engineer, which is a completely different genre and a completely different game, is in more interested in, in what their community is saying about the game than they see is. They see is like, well, we already have the we already have the success. Fuck you. Sorry. Um, but Space Engineer is going like, we have the money now. We have the the support, but what do you want to, what do you want to see, what do you want in the game? And they're fixing the game, they're using the time to fix stuff. Not only big crashes and annoying stuff, I never had a, I haven't, haven't had a single crash in the game yet. Not once. I haven't had any lag, I haven't had any FPS drops, well on this recording, but nothing. This game is solid. Even f and I know some people have half problem, but they're fixing it. They are doing fixes to help people not having all these problems. And and why is a game like DayZ standalone just going to say, well, we have the we have the formula for the game, and we don't need any help? Well, supposedly you would go, they would go fix the game instead of adding cooking and fishing and actually fix the zombies, for example. Make the zombies a bit more of a threat, not just making them ghost zombies to go through walls and kill you through floors and all this crappy stuff that is happening. So instead, just go fix your game, even if it's early access, which means alpha. It's an alpha state game, but it's still a crappy alpha state game. I mean, this game we are looking at right now, we all know that this game is far from oh, finished. But it's looking good, it's functional, it, there's a bit of a... I don't like the blur effects when moving, but it's a working game. I can go up to something and I can push something, and but it's not a game. It, it, it should be a game, it's not a game, it's just showing off that they have the talent to do animation, they have the talent to do this, and I can't shoot because I have no gun on it, but I can put it on, but I don't want to now. Um, this is just a rant. But yeah, this, even this is better than Daisy standalone zombies. Oh, yeah, okay, there was a glitch there. But, <laughs> but seriously, it's just, why why the, the whole, why do you tell the community that we don't want to fix stuff until you get into beta. Beta is a long way. I mean, beta is such a long way from now that... I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. And that's my rant, it's like, we want your money, but we don't want to give you something for it. We don't want you to help us develop a game. We don't care. We just want you to pay for it because you know what the game is about. You already know the game for because it was a mod. You already know, know the mod and then hence you want to play the game. But I want to open DayZ and go, oh I want to play DayZ today. I want to go to the server and not being killed by a douchebag that 
has no remorse because it's a game. I, I don't really... Well, I took my friend's advice and I just, I'm just running around derping and being shot, I don't care. It's, but th that's not a game, that's just a, hey, shoot me, I don't care, I'm just going to respawn anyways and you're going to kill me again if you see me. It, it's just, there's no limitation to what it is. And that's why Daisy for me should be renamed to stand alone or shoot each other stand alone, whatever. Something else. It's not a zombie apocalypse anymore. It's not DayZ. It's, it's hey, uh, kill on site players, uh, re remorse, rejoice. Here, here we are, shoot each other. I mean, there's no game in it, and that's why I wanted to do this rant. It's because t people are well, dev developers is chunking out games in early development, and some are not even remotely close to a game and they're hogging in money on it because they have a good idea but we never know if the idea will be real and it's an investment and I don't mind investing money into a game like I invested money into this game it was pretty expensive even though I got this crappy hanger that suddenly expanded but it's still it's a something that I suddenly thought well I love space games it we need more space games. And here it is, but it's not a game, it's a demo. It's a demo of a game that could happen, and it's a demo of a game that couldn't happen. I'm pretty sure he will do something, but still we're waiting for actual... I'm still waiting for actual seeing how the stars is working without making doing a glitch like someone did, and to actually see that there are stars above, and uh, all this stuff. But Still, it's we're putting money into hands of developers that we are hoping will not just run off with them, but it's it's a it's a risk. It's a risk risk people are willing to take. I was willing to give these developers money to make Star Citizen, uh, and I'm risking that they're just going to take my money and tell me to shove off. Same if they see is actually doing that right now, going, well, we don't want to fix the game, we just want to add new stuff. Space Engineers, on the other hand, is going, we have a cheap game, and we're adding content. So look at us, we're cool. <laughs> because they're actually cool. Well, I hope people are seeing this rant as something uh, decent. Uh, I didn't want it to make it this long, but I guess I'm going to cut it up. I have to cut it up a little bit. Um, to into two episodes, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed my little rant about this, and it's a concern that I sh think people should take into co consideration, and not just be like, "Ooh, this game is cool, I'm going to fund it," without seeing anything or actually being able to be a part of the community. So I've been Drek, and this has been the first episode of <laughs> ranting with Drek and have fun.